Hello everyone and welcome back. I apologize for how I sound. It does seem like I am losing my voice a little bit. But with that being said, Ubisoft just shared a brand new gameplay trailer of the consulate rework which is coming in Operation Dread Factor. It's still not our most in-depth look at the map, but it's shown so much more than before. So as always, we're going to take a look through what they've shown us and break it down. They've done something quite helpful and they've shown a before and after with the pre-rework and what is in the new rework. So that's going to give us a really good idea of where all the places are and help put it into perspective. So the first thing we've been shown is the front facade of the building outside of circle desk and the major thing here is that the walls have been heightened to help block spawn peaks coming from piano and it seems connector window up top which i do believe is still going to be there in the reworked version and this is just a really good addition because one of the major issues with old console was the spawn peaks itself this got really old really fast it just wasn't very fun to attack or even defend and it was in desperate need of a rework and i think tackling the spawn peaks was one of the major things they had to do and it seems like they are doing that and just a little note on this screen and you also see it throughout the rest of the map it just seems like they've also added more design to the map. So there's more ivies on the walls, there's more shrubbery. It just looks like they've added more stuff to make it look nice, rather than just sort of like an empty, ugly building. Next, of course, we have the brand new garage. This is now going to act similar to the garage on Bank, where you can't reinforce it, and it's been propped open by an item. So this will be an entry point for attackers, where defenders can't block off. I mean, you could use Azami Kiba barriers, barbed wire, for example, but you can't physically reinforce them out of the garage now. And as we will see further on as well, they have done an entire overhaul to the inside of garage and I'm really interested to see how this new version of the garage is going to play out. Of course, something I mentioned in my last consulate rework video as well is that there is a new window above garage in piano room, if that is still piano, I'm not sure we know that yet. So quite interesting, there's going to be a new window there. You can maybe even do some rotates if you jump out that window and then climb back in garage. That's going to be quite interesting. This map is looking quite promising. Chalet before rework was one of my least favorite maps. Then when it got a rework, it's probably my favorite map in the pool now. So let's hope that consulate can maybe do the same. Next up, we have the brand new spiral staircase. We did get a glimpse of this before but now we have it from a different angle and it does confirm that there is still a staircase going down to garage side and it does still confirm that there is going to be a staircase going down to garage which is interesting and this was one of the things i was mentioning earlier when i said it just looks like they've been adding more design to this map just look how much nicer this version of spiral staircase looks and one of the things to know here as well is that the windows on spiral staircase which you can repel on seem to be blocked off now so that is very interesting now this next one we're looking at here is the brand new garage this possibly has the biggest change out of any of the sites so take a look at the for and here's the after. First and foremost, this room seems significantly smaller. Don't even know there's a bomb site here. This is probably just going to be like a downstairs entrance, sort of how Villa has a downstairs entrance, but there isn't any bomb sites there. However, that being said though, they have also shown off that Garage does look similar to how it currently looks, so I'm not really sure what this room they're showing off right now is. Maybe it's beside it, but I think the way they've done before and after here is a bit deceiving. Unless the previous thing they've shown off has been scrapped, this room isn't the same before and after. It's a bit confusing here. I highly doubt there's going to be any bomb site around this area. This is probably purely just going to be an entry point, and that's why it's much smaller and i'm gonna assume the rest of the garage is just gonna be smaller rooms as well and not just one massive open room like it was before so yeah that is completely night and day that's absolutely insane how different this version of garage is and i am really interested to see how it's going to play out again following the theme of taking quite a bleak looking room and making it quite nice here is what the new top of spiral staircase looks like as you can see there is now a new window at the top of spiral staircase and there's gonna be like a vending machine cover in it and this of course leads into the brand new long desk which once again just looks visually more appealing but you see that it does still lead into vending machines at the top. And of course, this can start to match up with some of the older stuff we've seen on the consulate rework as well. I'm actually going to cut to an older recording of me taking a look at some of the older stuff, so my voice is going to sound probably a lot better. But this will also help you get a more deeper understanding of the other parts of the map. First and foremost, we have the exterior of the building. What we can tell is that they have actually covered up a lot of the spawns a lot better now. Spawn peaking on consulate was a massive issue. They just weren't very well designed spawns. So it's nice to see that at least from the piano side that they will be covered up a lot better now and hopefully it is a lot more safer for the attackers. What we can also tell from this front side as well is that on the roof the skylights still seem to be in the exact same places, doesn't seem like there has any changes there and for the most part it doesn't seem like there are any roof hatches either. Now one of the major things we can see right now is that on the balcony there is no longer a double window, rather there is a breachable soft wall. This does seem to be a single wall and I assume that you'll be able to destroy any gadgets from it from below as well so it seems like this is going to be a massive entry point for the attackers. And as 
as well as this, the main door at the bottom does seem very similar. However, it just seems like they have compressed it a bit more and just made the steps closer to the door. And I'm not sure how true this is, but by the looks of it as well, it does look like they have smoothed the building around quite a bit as well. One of the issues I had with Consulate is the fact that you have to keep getting on and off repel just to go on the same side of the building because it was all uneven. With this, it seems like you will be able to repel along the same part for the most part. And as well as this at the back as well, it does seem like there is a new indent where bathroom side usually is. The next bit we're showing off is the brand new spiral stairs. Now they have updated the statue and added more greenery around it. It looks really nice. I'm really loving how this new design looks. And as well as this, it seems like the windows at the top of spiral stairs have actually been blocked off. Now we do know that there is still going to be a skylight there. We can see the light coming from it and we did see it on the roof as well. But you'll no longer be able to play on these windows from Repel. And the final thing to note from this little bit as well is that the staircase going downwards is still there. Now the next bit we see is the brand new long desk. We actually get to see this from two different angles. Now one of the major things is long desk is still connected to the top of spiral which we just had a look at. The long desk doesn't look as long as it was before but I assume it still will be given the cold long desk. The wall behind the desk is no longer breachable. I'm sure you guys all remember in its current version that you can breach through that wall into the bomb site. So all of that seems to be a hard wall and I believe the doorway from this image we're looking at right now which is on the right hand side I believe that is a new hallway which will probably lead to console office. But what we're going to be focusing on is this doorway to the left which seemingly leads to the new small desk room. Now from this perspective where we're seeing small desk the room we were just in with long desk is on the left hand side on the other side of that wall. Again this is speculation I don't actually know the layout I'm just basing it off the old layout and how the hallways are looking in these images. But from what I'm guessing the wall on the back of long desk is the wall that we can now see on the left with the smaller desk. And as you can see there is two soft walls to the right of us leading us into a new room. And then we can see inside this room because we can see those two soft walls to the left of us now and this is actually the meeting room which is an existing site in current consulate and that is the one that usually touches between a soft wall with long desk. So what I'm guessing here is that they've kind of split up long desk put another wall between it and as you can see there's this entry point now on the left hand side in meeting room. And so from this perspective if long desk is to our left through that doorway that means that visa stairs is usually in front of us. However it doesn't seem like there is a doorway anymore meaning that it seems that you can no longer enter meeting room from the top of visa stairs. Rather it seems like there is going to be a hallway like we can see in the small desk image at the back that there is actually going to be a hallway now and that will probably link between visa stairs. We don't actually get to see any part of that map but I'm going to assume that's how they're going to do it. But if my perspective is correct at the right hand side here we can see which I believe to be a soft wall and I actually believe that this is the same soft wall that we can actually see from the balcony outside. And if I got my perspective right that would make sense because the desk is facing that way that means the soft wall is there and the balcony is outside and then straight on from the wall is long desk. So I think I am correct when I am saying this. And we do get another glimpse at the other side of meeting room this time from the bonds perspective and we can see the projector on the wall and we see another doorway now at the left hand side and I believe this is actually the connector which exists between the bomb sites but rather than having a doorway in the middle then going into the connector and having two soft walls they've actually moved the doorway to the left and added the soft walls beside it. So going back to that long desk image that means this doorway on the right hand side which we're looking at now will be connected to that other doorway which we just seen in meeting and I assume there'll be a hallway there and it will link to console and maybe yellow stairs which they haven't shown off in this trailer and maybe bathroom because we don't know what they're doing with bathroom because remember there is that new indent where bathroom usually is so it is interesting to see what's going to happen there. I know this is probably really confusing I will of course show off more when we get more access to the map when season 2 comes out but that is a long while from now so as it currently stands this is all we have to play with but I hope you are following along as we go and so they have actually shown off a lot of the top floor sites but let's move on to a really cool new entry point for attackers which I absolutely love and that is the new version of the garage so first and foremost let's start from the outside the black car is still outside so you can still hide behind it looks like the white van has actually been brought from outside the garage and placed outside the front now giving the attackers more cover and there seems to be a new window above now which I think that will be linked to piano so that's interesting there's now going to be a new window there of course this can be used for rotates if you jump out the window you can probably jump down again and go through the garage and especially if people are on repel on that that is a really easy jump out now before if you want to get people off that you had to either jump out yellow side or you have to jump out piano window now there's a new one on piano window actually facing that side so this is going to be a really big jump out and I think the most major thing here is the garage door itself it now seems like it's being held open with crates meaning you can probably crouch through and actually get into the garage without having to breach a wall which the defenders have reinforced. Similar to how it is on bank where the garage is just there, you can't do anything about it, the defenders can't stop you from coming through 
other than just shooting you and using their gadgets, but they can't reinforce it in that sense. So this will now always be an exposed opening of the map, which defenders are going to have to keep in mind. This finally gives Consulate a really solid entry point for attackers, and this is a really nice change to see. Finally, they did give us a tiny little glimpse of what inside the garage actually looks like. For starters, the car is now red. Massive change, actually game breaking. For the most part, the layout of the room does kind of seem to be the same. However, the hatch has been moved away from the pillar, closer to the wall now. And it seems like there is now a new doorway. I assume this is for kitchen. If that room is still going to exist, that is now at the left. Or maybe there is only going to be one doorway now for both hallway and kitchen. We are yet to see what that is going to be like. But for the most part, it seems like pipes are still going to exist. And that I assume that there's still going to be a yellow stairs. They haven't shown that bit. I don't know if they purposely left that bit out. But don't actually know if yellow stairs is still going to exist. And as it currently stands, that is everything they have shown off with the brand new consulate rework. I'm really loving how this new version of consulate is looking. I actually just really dislike the current version of consulate. I just don't think it aged very well and I'm glad that it is going to make some changes because it is long overdue. Of course this is set to come out in year 8 season 2 so we do have quite a good little while before this actually comes out and before we learn more about the map but it is cool that we have learned a little bit about it from the year 8 panel. So guys what are your first impressions of the brand new consulate rework coming to Rainbow Six Siege? I am really excited to learn more about it. I hope it actually turns out to be a really good map because before Chalet before rework was my least favorite map and now after it was reworked it's actually one of my favorite maps if not my favorite map in Siege. So drop a like on this video if you did enjoy subscribe if you're new and I shall catch you all later. I love you all. Stay safe. Peace.